<clears throat> okay, uh, standing here with Chris Storing, one of my good friends, and uh, you know somebody that has been um, vocal early. I think this summer, where you uh, you were sort of, uh, I think set sort of some of the trend with you, know, you thought that after a practice, I think you went to that Florida looked a little, you know, like they were a little more prepared. Yeah. You you said I think seven wins or yeah. something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought they looked better in the spring, uh, having a chance to be out in in um, you know, practice some in the summer. Looked like there were some upgrades in terms of talent and size, and and um, you know, I think the thing that frustrated me about Saturday was just the, the same issues on the line of scrimmage, both sides of the ball, same issues with communication uh, errors in the secondary. Um, you know, a couple brutal penalties that killed you know the opportunities to get off the field, and so it's kind of the same thing and, and that's really yeah. kind of what's most frustrating to me as a former player you know the pride that we take in, in in our university and what we did during the 90s and you know just uh was hoping we'd turn the corner this year yeah well i, I think i said that you know because i was at the game and i said you know about the second quarter i really just felt like look i've seen this all yeah uh, and, yeah. and I'm not knocking that. You knew that early on. You, you just could see the line of scrimmage getting pushed when they were running the yeah. football. It was, you know, two, when, three. When there was no conversion after the after the, the pick, I think, in the first quarter, I yeah. felt like that there was just, like, you could, as far as yeah. getting, you know, six points, it was just really. I Even the long Montreal Johnson run was not anything that Florida did. It was a, a misfit by the uh, safety that yeah. came down, tried to duck yeah. inside instead of setting the edge. And, yeah. you know, you, you, you get 71 yards on the ground there that, that – you take that away, and you're averaging about two and a half yards of carry for the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah. A lot of knock I think I've been talking about since I saw Utah last year was, and everyone's talking about this, Billy didn't get an uh, offensive coordinator this year. How much does that, you feel like, really plays out in the scheming, or does it? Well, honestly, I you know I know that they brought in somebody to help with the offense, and I'm, you know I've heard rumors that somebody else was calling the plays on Saturday. I don't know what the yeah. truth is to that, but um, what I see is unfortunately a, kind of a lack of attention to detail. I don't know if it's in the teaching or just the execution, but the bottom line is the coach's job is to to, to get guys that'll play the way that they they're coached to play, and uh, you know, that right now they're either being coached poorly or they're they're just uh, not paying attention to the details that are necessary to, to win football games. Yeah, and finally, I, I, as a player, you know, you mentioned a minute ago as a player how it felt. As yeah. a player looking up, as the place you helped build, mm -hmm. you did. Yeah. And, you know, as as you know, even a hero of mine as a kid. You know, I know we're close in age. I'm yeah. just saying that, like, you know, looking up. Like I know that's a sting because I know how much that means yeah. to you all, to your, you know, your class, and, and the, all those guys. You know, how hard is that sometimes as a media member, as everything yeah. else, especially? And it's not just about Billy. I'm talking what a decade yeah. of some of this, but to feel this at the end, how bad does it sting now? Because I, of what the future? I think the hardest part about it is, is we have been walking through this desert for you know. You, you take away the. Yeah, I, I don't think those appearances in the SEC Championship back into the McIlwain years were a reflection of the program being good. It was a reflection of how down the East was in those, those seasons. Um, and then we get the one year with Trask. Uh, that was like, you know, I, I think I think what we had with, with Trask and, and Pitts and Tony kind of overshadowed what was already an eroding talent, a uh, group of talent. And so, it, you know, it used to be that first Saturday in December was always penciled in on the Gators' schedule for being in Atlanta and just haven't had that um, opportunity much. And so I think it's, it's disappointing, and I, I felt like this was the year that we were going to, Maybe you should start climbing back into more competitive uh, situations in the conference and nationally, and uh, doesn't feel that way now. I think you know we were talking about the season feeling like it was over, and we weren't even at Labor Day yet. That's the same and, conversation uh, I was having. Yeah, so I think that's the thing that that really has me feeling the most despondent right now is just what are we what are we cheering for at this point? What are we what are we what do we have to look forward to? Yeah, thanks. Yes, yeah, no problem. Right on, Thanks, pal. Thanks. Have a good talk in there.